I'm a student of art history in the sense that I love it. I'm a lover of art history. And do I make work saying this is going to reference this and this is going to reference that and da da da? No, but that, that said, it's definitely a part of my language. I know there's a lot of artists that are very self-conscious about being too referential. And for me, um, I, it doesn't bother me. I, I like the conversation that happens. I like to be in, converse, in a dialogue with history. Um, and I think what's, what's great is that we sort of take these building blocks of performance and painting and sculpture, and then it's our responsibilities, uh, responsibility as contemporary artists to sort of build on that language. Well, I'm really interested in this like 1950s woman. Clearly those are the women who I grew up with. There's still this, this like kind of, there's this crutch of that, of what that woman is, even though they've become so not that. Um, they're still like performing for, I don't know if it's for like a patriarchal society, but they're still performing in a way that's a very, how they will be seen. They did so much for our generation that we don't have to do, um, but they're still performing in that, in a little bit in that, that 1950s role. So I'm interested in that, that moment of switch, that, that tug of war that happened between that generation and this generation. It was really clear when I was in school that like people weren't that into the sculptures. They were into like talking to me um, and they were into the chaos of what happened when I made stuff. Everyone was much more into the chaos of Kate Gilmore than like the thing that came out of Kate Gilmore. I think every artist has to think about that. Why, why are people coming in and talking with me about process, um, but not talking about the final product? It became pretty clear that, that I was like sort of skipping a step. Like I was going right to showing the sculpture, quote unquote, capital S, and um, not really showing the stuff that actually I cared about. So I just started to insert myself in the work just to test things, to see like, okay, I'm more interesting than my work. That's what everyone's saying. So just like force it, just like insert thyself in the work, like force it. And you know, things started to happen that became interesting. The earlier work was definitely more like body dealing with object. So it was very clear, like the earlier work, like there were either, you know, tight shots. So you could really see a lot that was going on with the body, with like the body in some sort of turmoil. Um, and now I think what's happened is it's still very important that there is that expressionistic quality, but the sculptures, the objects have sort of taken on the role that I think the body took on before. Um, it's still very important that there is a physical body in these pieces creating these objects, um, but it's really, I mean, my goal is that these sculptures and these pieces are mirroring the, the psychological predicament of the person who's actually carrying out this role, um, doing this thing that she has to do. Um, so they, the sculpture before was like sort of there to sort of bump up the character while I think they've become much more equal in terms of the, um, the expressionistic quality, but also the body has become, the, this female body, my female body, has become much more integrated formally into the way sculpture is made. So it's not only is the performance now integrated in terms of like this object, the object is sort of mirroring an emotional state.